If you have ever wondered how to make best use of your MacBook notch or you want dynamic island experience just like your iPhone on your Mac, then this might be the solution you have been looking for. The app is called Notch Nook. Let's explore all its features and what it has to offer. Hey, Shivam here. You can check this app out with the affiliate link in the description below. Notch Nook is a macOS application designed to transform the often overlooked notch area of the MacBook. It turns into a dynamic and much more interactive experience. Notch Nook extends from the notch to provide features and utilities enhancing both functionality and aesthetic let's start with the key features notch nook has two area one is the nook and the second one is tray this is a dynamic widget area and we get access to a lot of features and a quick access to a lot of things we have media control here we have a mirror here like if you want to quickly check so hey then we have notes area i can just quickly jot down a note if i want to and this is going to be saved and then we have calendar now of course we can customize this area and we can enable and disable things that we need here's the nook area we can just customize this we have calendar we can enable which calendar we need let me just turn this off then we have width area so width of this calendar area so we can see more dates then we have show past events so i'm not using calendar much so that's why it's blank likewise we have media control we can turn it on or off we have shortcuts, we can customize this as well. We can choose shortcut oh, and we can rearrange this too. This is the mirror area. Yes, we have two cameras, notes. And these two features are coming soon, so make sure to keep an eye on these. These are the quick apps and the to-do list. And obviously, if you don't want this nook, you can just turn it off and use the tray area only. Another feature I would like to mention is the live activities. If you go here, it shows different activities going on. If you are playing a song, it will show a small album art right there. Or again, we can just customize these live activities like media. We have this radius, album corner radius. Then we have files tray. It shows how many files we have in the tray like this. And we have calendar. It will show an event and also updates. Again, you can turn it off if you don't want this. Now let's talk about the second area that is tray area. This tray area is for files. We can copy multiple files and keep them here. If you want to, you can just collect multiple files and put them in the tray. You can even take files from different locations and you can just keep the folders as well. Now you can just quickly access this file anywhere, anytime you like from any window, just like this. And the second thing of this tray area is that we can just airdrop files, which is a feature that Apple should have provided, but we have to use this app for that. So what we can do if we want to airdrop any file, you can just select that file and just airdrop it. See how easy it is. Also, you can just airdrop files in your tray. You can just select all, right click and just send via airdrop. See how convenient. This feature alone makes the price tag worth it. We will talk about pricing in a second, but let's go to the setting and see what else we have in here. In general, we have all type of customization, like always open hover, the width, the size, height, everything, transparency, color. I'm not sure if there's color, but we can set to launch at login. Then we have gestures, these settings. Then we have more settings, the tray, width of the tray. Then we have drop area. One upcoming feature that will add more value to this app is that we will be able to compress images, also zip and unzip files just like we do AirDrop. For example, I'm just going to take this image and there might be another option to compress this image or make zip or unzip a file. I'm quite excited to see that. Talking about the pricing of the app, there are two ways you can get this app. How I got it, I have the set app subscription, which has over 250 Mac apps and it's available for both Mac OS and iOS. This platform is by MacPow, which may clean my Mac and other tools like that. So you will find that on the platform as well. So there are a lot of apps on the platform and the pricing is quite reasonable. Let's look at the pricing in a bit. I haven't explored all of the apps, but I heard that the clean shot, this one is very good one. This personalized menu bar is a great. There's more, there's a VPN as well that I'm using clear VPN. So yeah, that's there. Let's just have a look at the pricing. So they do offer seven days of free trial, so you can give it a shot. However, I talked to them and they were able to provide me 30 days of free trial for my viewers. So you can check out the affiliate link in the description and you can essentially get 30 days of free trial. So there is no harm in trying. Rest the pricing goes like this. We have Mac subscription that is $10 per month. Then we have Mac OS and iOS subscription that is $12.49 per month. And then we have a power user that has four Macs and four iOS devices for $15. 
This is for monthly and if you go for annual subscription that is 9, 11.24 and 13.50 dollars. The platform is well priced. I recently started using this platform and I'm quite impressed with the apps. So you must go ahead and give it a try. Now let's look at the other option that is getting from the app developer itself that is Low Cafe. On their own website it's three dollars per month subscription or you can buy a one-time fees of $25 so it's up to you and there's also 35% off if you tweet about the notch note. I will put this website down in the description as well. Now it's up to you to decide from where you want to pick this up. However, the app is really nice and it does adds a lot of functionality. I would say it adds a missing feature to your MacBook. And by the way, it works on all your monitors. If you have a MacBook connected to external monitor, then it will work on that as well, like I'm using right now. Also something to mention that I haven't noticed any kind of glitches or crashes. It happened only once until now, but never again. So if you are looking for a dynamic island experience on your MacBook, then you should definitely give it a try and just put that notch to use however that's it for today now if you are looking for a way to clean your mac then you can watch this video right here and if you are looking for 5 tv of cloud storage for 10 dollars then there you go like share subscribe stay safe bye bye